Great news! We have the foundations to build Python projects that we should really be proud of. And if you made it this far, I just want to take the moment to say thank you for sticking with us. We have really covered a broad range of topics to form our foundation, and I hope you are really feeling good about Python and PyCharm. Now that we have our bearings, let's move on to new, exciting realm of tools that will allow us to get started in much more robust code development and do things like create powerful web applications. In this section, we're going to talk about how to interact with other technologies. We'll start by talking about JavaScript object notation, or JSON, and then we'll dive into database creation, management, and querying through SQL and SQLite packages. The first topic that we're going to talk about is JavaScript object notation, more commonly referred to as JSON. Specifically, Let's take a moment to touch on the motivation of JSON and how it's used. We'll then look at an example of a simple but actual JSON file. We'll then briefly touch on the comparisons between JSON and the Python data structures that we already know and love. JSON is a structure that is commonly used to exchange data between things, such as our local machines and a server, maybe over a network, or maybe even just between different languages. And that's kind of the beauty of JSON. It's not actually a language. It is simply a common format for data structures. And if you were to open up a JSON file, you're very likely just to see a simple long string. In fact, let's go ahead and go do that in PyCharm. Here's an example of a JSON file containing a few sandwich objects that I created. We'll be looking at how to create this JSON file in the next video. But for now, let's just go ahead and appreciate this JSON file for what it is. You maybe notice that this is actually quite hard to read. I have three sandwiches here, but it's not immediately clear given how it's all on one very long file. So let's go and let PyCharm make this a little bit easier for us. If we come up to code, we can select reformat code. Now notice I might be able to go Control alt l or in this case Alt-F8, depending on your operating system and the version of PyCharm you have installed, the hotkeys will be shown for you on the right. But for now, let's go ahead and just click Reformat Code. Now hopefully we can pretty clearly see that there are three sandwich objects, the Roasted Bee, Loaded Veggie, and Hammy Lammy. Conveniently, this format already looks pretty Pythonic. These three sandwiches are contained within square brackets, which should remind you of any Python list. And each item itself is contained within curly brackets and is identified with a key and value pair. Notice all these dictionaries have the same keys, name, bread, meat, my cost, my charge, and then different values. In fact, this is what our JSON file looks like, so we should already be pretty comfortable with it. And with this simple file that we can already read and appreciate its simplicity, we're ready to start exchanging data. 